The National Palace Museum in Taipei is home to the world's largest collection of Chinese art. In carefully controlled climatic conditions, 200,000 pieces of priceless art are displayed. Paintings, tapestries, the history of China hand-scribed, porcelain and jade carvings. Ritual bronze vessels dating back 3,000 years bear inscription of achievement, imperial favor, or settlement of a contract, ultimately providing a contemporary record of ancient history. In the Shang Dynasty, these vessels were used to make offerings to dead ancestors, whose spirits were believed to control man's earthly well-being. Many of these vessels emerged from ancient tombs when heavy rains washed away topsoil, forcing the earth to give up its treasures. How this priceless collection came to rest here is a tale marked by war, jealousy and international intrigue. The origins of the collection began over 1,000 years ago under the guidance of Emperor Tai Su of the Song Dynasty a dynasty that doted on refinement and the elegant accoutrements of culture, particularly white porcelain. Over the centuries, additional works of art were added, the blue porcelain of the Ming dynasty and the glittering porcelain of the Qing. The collection was eventually housed in the Forbidden City in Peking, and then in 1924, the nationalist government ousted the last surviving Manchu emperor, Pu Yi giving his entourage of 2,000 ladies and eunuchs just two hours to evacuate. Scholars were then sent in to catalogue the treasure. A museum was established, and finally the people had access to 5,000 years of Chinese history through works of porcelain, paintings and jade carvings. The art collection had enormous symbolic value for its owners by bestowing a measure of political legitimacy on whoever possessed it. And so, to protect it from the Japanese when war broke out in 1931, the priceless treasures were encased and shuttled back and forth across war-torn China by rail, foot, boat and ox cart. Miraculously, not a single item was destroyed. Finally, in 1948, on the eve of the communist takeover of China, the nationalists seized 4,800 of the original 20,000 cases and escaped to Taiwan. Only one-third of the 600,000-piece collection can be shown at any one time. Under an elaborate security system, the rest of the collection rests in vaults tunneled into the mountain behind the museum. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.